up everybody welcome back to the channel guys i got one bad freaking ass f-150 for you today you are not gonna want to miss this this thing ripped let's get into it all right so i know you guys are asking yourself how much freaking fun is this truck to drive it <laughs> it's a freaking riot now bear in mind this is a four-door it's four-wheel drive oh, but it's a yodi and it's boosted so let's get this thing out on the road can't tell it's boosted you can't tell any of that uh which is super cool like the, the tune is dialed in now granted the roush tunes are very conservative um because you can retain your factory warranty when you buy a roush built truck through ford so obviously they didn't put all the sauce to it but i mean still uh this thing's crazy like it's so much fun to drive Let's do a little just kind of roll it along here see which kind of saw she's got Seven degrees today so obviously it's pulling timing um, just because of the heat but man I got the air on too like this thing moves out like you pull up next to a newer like an s550 GT that doesn't have boost you're gonna eat its lunch Just a little dig hit, just for the hell of it. <laughs> now this isn't something you want to just bang it from a dig for the simple fact that unless you've done some suspension work, you're going to get the typical truck wheel hop, but it freaking lights them up. Uh, and it goes. Again, man, I wish it was a little cooler today. Uh, but man, this thing freaking rips. All right, we're gonna try and avoid any wheel hop here. Go at it from like a 20 roll. See what I mean? Freaking wheel hop. <laughs> That's the only drawback to the truck, unless you do like the, I think VAS makes them the traction bars. Um, you're gonna deal with wheel hop. This truck also probably could benefit from a Yukon locker. Uh, that's a popular upgrade for these trucks. Um, just to make sure you're you're not doing a one wheel peel. Let's see if I can make it stick a little bit. Maybe the tires are a little more sticky now. Do about a 20 roll and let her go. Nope. <laughs> Advanced track gets in. I probably should turn advanced track off, but we're not trying to do anything crazy. The point of a, of this video is, if you find one of these trucks, don't freaking sleep on them. I'm telling you right now, these trucks will surprise the crap out of you. You can hear a little blower whine. It's not crazy. Oh yeah, I mean, hundred just like that i mean it's freaking effortless in a big four-door truck that's what's so mind-blowing that just adding a roush blower which isn't compared to like a whipple or something like that isn't you know the best blower you can put on a coyote as far as efficiency and power but even with that being said this truck is badass if you added a tune put this thing on e85 pulled it down it would freaking this thing would go. Yeah, 100 like that. 
you could really have to experience this in person because a, a truck this big shouldn't move this fast. Take a look up under the hood, just kind of see what you got. So obviously this truck is running on the Roush calibration, um, like I talked about before, which is, it's pretty mild for being a supercharged vehicle. You can see the sticker right there. But basically all they do, it's a stock engine. They put the 2300, so you can actually swap this out for the VMP, I think the Gen 3R, which is a 2650, if I'm not mistaken. Um, pretty easy. And if I'm also not mistaken, the base just bolts right up. So you could easily swap this blower out, um, do a larger throttle body. I think those are like the, uh, the 1314 GT500 throttle bodies they put on them. But they put the cool coil covers and all of that. Obviously, it's an air water intercooler. And then, of course, the Roush cold air intake. Pretty freaking sweet. You got your custom built badge right there. Let's see how hot this thing is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, that's why it's. If we were on a cooler day, it would definitely be more impressive. But let's talk about what else invol is involved with getting one of these Roush trucks. So, starting on the front, obviously, it's quite a bit different. You've got the, uh, the Roush grill, which is really cool. And it's got the Raptor style lights down here you've got your heat exchanger i'll see how hot it is it's not real hot but they've got it kind of tilted back and then you've got a scoop to suck all the air in um obviously everything's pretty well color matched got the roush charged got the nightmare badges of course the windshield banner this truck actually doesn't have the original wheels that it came with uh alex put some momos on it uh which look really good uh they actually kind of remind me of the the shelby wheels but uh those look good it needs a sticky tire but like i said he just picked this up so um gotta have the american flag uh i don't believe the cuss the the tail lights are original to the truck but uh you get down here you got the nightmare tailpipe pretty freaking cool it does have the roush cat back on it and excuse me the nightmare tip exhaust tip um back here you've got the matte inlay on the tailgate says nightmare right there and then the roush badge overlay and then of course the roush again but pretty subtle mods i'm not a big wing and scoop and flare kind of guy so i really dig this because it's not over the top but under the hood it's got it where it counts so as far as the interior you got the custom leather it says nightmare in there you got the red striping in there other than that it's it's pretty basic um you do have the the roush badge on the dash it's got the uh the red on the steering wheel that wasn't part of the package i think uh, the previous owner added that um but but pretty cool like good upgrades not a bunch of garbage badges and all that stuff um again i don't really i don't really get into all that stuff but yeah i mean it's pretty sweet even says the nightmare on the back you talk about a cool Mustang tow vehicle or just a cool vehicle in general, this is one of them. All right, boys, that's pretty much gonna wrap this one up. I hope you enjoyed the Roush Nightmare. I've never really got to play with these. Like I said, Alex just picked this up recently and um, we were riding around and he's like, man, I got a freaking video of that truck. It's so much fun, especially when it's cooler out and the heat's not uh, heat soaking the blower. This thing really gets freaking nasty. It could use a tire on it, could use a locker in the back just to, to help put the power down, but this is a super fun truck. If you have ever had the opportunity to buy one, what better daily and tow vehicle than a freaking supercharged Roush truck? All right, boys, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Catch you on the next one.